Hello friends and family and good morning from Universal's Dockside Inn and Suites. Today we're going to have a little staycation for the holiday season so hopefully everything is decorated. We're going to do a full resort and uh, room tour. We got the family suite. I'm really excited. Our last time we stayed here it was just a great value. They have an awesome swimming pool and they do give you transportation back and forth to Universal Studios. This is like the furthest property right now currently to Universal Studios, but it is one of their resorts. I'm excited to be here though, show you guys the full tour, and we'll also check out some of the awesome merchandise they have to offer and the food. But before we get started, if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you wear future uploads and live streams, we would greatly appreciate it. I think we'll actually head in first and check out the lobby and look at this. Like I'm already seeing the Christmas lights up here at Dockside. You're greeted by a ginormous Christmas tree as soon as you come in. Look at this thing. This is absolutely massive with all the Christmas lights, the poinsettias. I love coming to the parks and different resorts for the holiday season. They do have a ginormous uh, Starbucks over there where you can get all of your uh, beverages in the morning. Look at that though. It's actually a nice uh, setup that they have. A huge huge counter where you can enjoy your drinks as well. Now look at the huge sitting area that they have. Again, all decorated for the holiday season. Lots of extra seating over in this direction. Let's see what we got going on over here though. They have the Sunset Lounge. This is the bar area here at Dockside. You have a bunch of televisions, all of your different alcoholic beverages. But again, all of the counter seating. Very big expansive area. And then right next to the Sunset Lounge area, you're taken right to the food court. This area is very expansive. They have a great selection of different foods. We'll check this out in a little bit. I did just want to show you the common area and the huge amount of seating that they have. I like the lighting. That's kind of dangling. Reminds me of like Hogwarts Castle lighting. That is really cool. But these different beams and pillars kind of makes you feel like you're at a boardwalk. This whole lobby area though is very nice, especially for a value resort. This is the area right across the way where you'll check in here at the resort. Yeah, there's definitely a very large section, like lots of different counters where you can check in here at the resort. Again, with the lighting and kind of like that boardwalk theming with the uh, woodwork. And then it's like almost like Disney's Polynesian Resort, like you have the cool little uh, light sconces and whatnot. But they even have a vacation planning center where you can get your tickets here for Universal Studios. That's really neat that they have like all these extra amenities at a value resort and way tucked away in the back corner they even have some luggage services for you let's see what else that we got going on over here so you can upgrade your park tickets here at this resort to volcano bay in case you want to head over there that's right across the way there uh, volcano bay and universal's cabana bay and of course, just like every other Universal Resort, they have some really awesome Universal Studio stores. They have a great expansive selection of merchandise. I do want to show you in just a little bit, but I'm noticing some Wizarding World of Harry Potter Christmas merchandise, but they're going to have your Grinch merchandise inside there, Minions, and all the different Universal things. But look at these huge Driftwood sculptures that they have inside. How cool is that? We'll definitely get to the gift shop in just a little bit and I do want to show you the whole food court area. We'll do a whole food review and check out all of the options. But our room is ready so I do want to head up to our room now. Again, we requested early check-in. They're very accommodating here at Universal. Let's head up to the room, do the entire tour, and then we'll head back downstairs. I always love the room keys that they give here at Universal as well. Like it's always themed after some of the attractions. I got Despicable Me, Minions Mayhem. Yeah, that's cool. They put your name on there as well. Let's head on up though and check out our room here at the uh, Dockside Resort. I did also want to point out that Dockside does offer plenty of parking. There's a ton of surface parking and you're going to find parking garages all over the place over here. It has some uh, stairs on the one side for you to uh, get up to the different levels. It looks like it has three levels of parking over there and they do offer two swimming pools at uh, Dockside. Here's the one. We'll definitely check them out in just a little bit. 
<laughs> the Universal Resort pools are awesome though. Like they do have an overhang where you can sit, enjoy some food. You can get some like different chips and small like little picky items, but they do have a ginormous bar area with tons of seating and even more like covered seating. In case it's raining or you do want to get out of the sunshine, they have you covered though with some fans. You can't go wrong with a little Florida bamboo, but this whole area over here is just really expansive. I kind of wonder where, uh, yeah, we're gonna get some great views up there of the pool area. But well, let's see what we got going on. It looks like it's a zero entry pool on the uh, other side there. But this is actually a really, really large size swimming pool. Lifeguards are on duty. And right over there I just showed you, that's the pool bar, the wave makers. Yeah, a very nice size swimming pool here at Dockside. Let's actually head into the Universal Studios store, the gift shop at uh, Dockside and see some of the merchandise they have. Like I was saying, they do have merchandise from all the different franchises. Here's some of the Harry Potter Christmas items. Let's see what we got doing. This is a Christmas sweater. It says uh, Christmas at Hogwarts. You have the castle, nine and three quarters, and Hedwig. These are $70 a piece, but they do have some Christmas throw pillows for $35. I love that it's just like plain and simple. It says Happy Christmas. And Here's some of the festive candles. They have some frosted pines and some orange nutmeg. These are actually pretty large candles, like bigger than the uh, Halloween Horror Nights ones. $28 a piece for them. And you could even purchase your 2022 and 2023 interactive collector's wands. These are $75 each plus tax. And I absolutely love the brand new throw blanket. This is woven. You have your snowman there wearing the Gryffindor scarf for Christmas at Hogwarts. But these are super duper soft. This entire first section is literally just dedicated to the wizarding world of Harry Potter. And they do have a great assortment of different plushies and all sorts of things. Like up here we have, let's see, we have one of the Cornish Pixies. That plushie's $20. They have Harry himself right underneath with his uh, mark and his glasses. Let's check the price of Rooney, $20 there. They do have Dobby right there. It looks like they have Luna Lovegood and then Hermione Granger. But this is the great thing about the gift shops. Like you can even purchase your Wizarding World of Harry Potter robes, the same ones that they sell in the parks, $139. You have your Gryffindor, Slytherin, uh, Ravenclaw, and then Hufflepuff. They do come with the embroidered house crest on the front. Even on the inside though, you have a little wand pocket there to hold your wand for safekeeping while you're in the parks. I love that. And they do even have a good assortment of the interactive wands that you'll purchase over in the park so you can kind of skip the line and just purchase them here at your resort. Also for the holiday season you can purchase some of your Grinch and his merchandise. Here's a 4x6 photo frame. It says this is a it says Mary as it gets. You got the Grinch wearing the Santa hat. These are nice though like a very heavy wood. It says Dr. Seuss Grinch on the backside. $27 for them. Right up ahead you do have like a flannel print coffee mug with that same pattern of the Grinch. That's really cool though and how about this uh, full zip hoodie that they have it says always naughty on the front these are 57 dollars i do want to show you the graphic here on the hood it says grinch and then you have a nice grinch uh, graphic on the back side that is way cool and they do have a bunch of assorted plushies, like smaller size Grinch and a larger size. Look at him here though, he's holding a little plushie of Max. Of course, at each different Universal Resort, you can purchase specific resort apparel. Here's your Universal's Endless Summer Resort t-shirt. Let the sea set you free with the palm trees and seagulls. $35 for that. You can even purchase some Endless Summer Resort branded uh, beach towels. Everything is embroidered on there. Like these are very retro. It reminds me of Cabana Bay. That's really cool. Here's some really tall cups with that same pattern as the uh, t-shirt we just saw. These are $25 each, but it has that design on both sides. It even looks like they have some Endless Summer Resort um, let's see here, Christmas ornaments. It's actually a little spinny one, which is really neat with the retro colors. 
over here some refrigerator magnets they have some keychains and pins but they even have like your ringer tank top with that same design like I was saying though you're gonna find merchandise from all the different franchises this one here from Dr. Seuss grandmother of all things it says Universal Studios underneath and here's a really cool t-shirt this one says ant of all things these are $33 a piece and they do have some tall tumblers let's see what we got going on it says thing one and then thing two so you do have two different offerings $24.95 over in this section, they have some E.T. plushies. Look at E.T. He's actually wearing one of his uh, full zip hoodies. $21.95. That plushie is actually massive. And then right underneath, they have like a Valentine's Day plushie. Look at him holding an E.T. heart. In this section, they also have some really cool Marvel merchandise. Look at this one's brand new, glow in the dark. You have a huge graphic of Spider-Man. It says Universal Studios, $27 for that one. And here's some of the different drinkware that they have. Lots of cool Spider-Man ones. This is a nice cup. These are plastic, but the graphic is really nice. It says Marvel Spider-Man, only $10. I feel like that's just a great price compared to especially like over at Disney property. They'd probably be significantly more. Here's a 3D effect coffee mug. That's $19. They even have a good little selection of Jurassic Park merchandise. How cool is this license plate? Your classic insignia there. It says Universal Studios. $16 for that. And definitely with the cooler weather, it's nice picking up some of the different hoodies. This is your classic Jurassic Park pullover hoodie. That one is $50. And then right up ahead, they do have some visors for $20 a piece, but also some uh, baseball caps and other assorted items. This one looks a little torn up. It's weathered. It says Universal Studios on the side, $26. And they do have your uh, Jurassic Park Ringer t-shirts. Let's actually make a pit stop over here to the Pier 8 Market at uh, Dockside and check out the whole cafeteria area and all of the food offerings that they have but it continues with the beach theming it looks like uh, Tower 1 is over here the fitness center and even more parking all right let's head into Dockside's Pier 8 market and check out some of the food offerings that they have as soon as you come inside they have a cupcake station signature desserts are $4.75 they have a brownie, a Reese's brownie, cookies and cream, key lime pie, and cupcakes. I love how they do it though. They do have everything on display, so you can kind of pick and choose exactly what it is you want. Some cupcakes there at this station, and then right up ahead, it looks like they do have your key lime pie, your Reese's brownie, and a bunch of assorted other things like some uh, apple pecan bear claws down there, danishes and croissants. Everything is so awesomely themed though. I love all the surfboards. It's literally surfboards everywhere inside of here. They just switched over from breakfast to lunch. Over here is a really cool uh, salad bar so you can build your own salad. They have different types of dressings, of course assorted greens, your croutons, your tomatoes, and everything you could possibly want in a salad. Bacon, ham, chicken, tomatoes, like I was saying, cheese, a little bit of everything. And this spot over here, it looks like they do have a bunch of sandwiches. They have some chicken salad wraps, some uh, turkey clubs on the uh, croissants. These things are absolutely massive. Tomato and mozzarella. You could even get a Italian sandwich here. At the next spot over, they have a bunch of burgers and sandwiches with your choice of french fries, uh, sweet fries. You can get fruit or a uh, side salad. They have uh, bacon jam, Gouda burger, bacon cheddar burger, which sounds really delicious. Actually keeps changing all the different pictures, which is really cool. There's the bacon cheddar burger. They even have like snapper tacos. And these are some of the kids' little mini corn dogs but they do have some of the burgers so you can see them on display again. Like there's your bacon one. This is probably the uh, snapper tacos. And then over here are some of the french fries that they do have to offer at this stand. And then right next door they have a little pizza bar. You can get like a, a personal size pizza. This is your pepperoni. They do have them plain and of course with all different other types of toppings. And they do even have like a larger size pie for you to share at the table like your meat lovers pepperoni and plain but it's really neat you can see them actually behind the counter here putting your pizzas together with all of your toppings with the ovens right next door and then over at this station they have some chicken and waffles that sounds really good you can get an eight piece meal with two sides for 27 some of the sides that they have they have southern coleslaw mac and cheese mashed potatoes and gravy and grilled corn on the cob yeah this is like your home uh, cooking over there. You can get your chicken, your uh, soups and everything at this station. 
and they do have a really nice little grab-and-go spot right next door where you can get all your assorted drinks you can get some alcoholic beverages here all your different coke products and everything and just like over at all of your universal resorts you can get your uh, resort used cups i shouldn't say resort used cups but your refillable cups universal's endless summer i like the hot colors like these are very bright with the palm trees the surfboards one day is 10.50 and then you can go the whole length of your stay for 22 dollars for these cups but they do even have a green one so they have two different offerings one of my favorite things about this resort though is the beach vibes all the columns the woodworking is really nice in the back section they do have like your refillable uh, soda machines you can do your coffees and everything but over here is our booth so let's sit down and enjoy some food okay so we're just making our way through the first floor here again it continues with the beach theming you can see all the blues and browns on the carpets our room is number 2695 so i do think we're gonna have a really nice view let's head upstairs though we have to find the elevator and uh, check out our room but they do have these really nice wall sconces at uh, each room as well Okay, so when you get off the elevator again, it looks like you're on a boardwalk. They have the weathered uh, tile flooring, like some palm tree murals. This is really nice though. Let's see what we got doing. We're looking for 2695. So we're gonna be heading over there to the left. On our floor, they do have a really nice ice machine. No soda machine though. Let's go ahead and find our room. Okay, so here we are, room 2695. Again, they have the wall sconces, and you can scan your room or your key here for the resort to head on inside. But look at this, they do have everything kind of lit up already. As soon as you come inside, it is super duper nice. You have two really nice queen size beds. It looks like you have a light above each of them as well. Like the theming in here is just awesome. It has a little pull tab. Oh boy, yeah, that gets really, really bright. Some really nice new headboards. And look at the pillows you got. You got sand and the actual blanket on these looks like it's like a wave. That's really interesting. They do have some cool uh, wall art up top here as well. Like the uh, docks and the Florida sunsets. Again, this is the family suite. The other uh, pillow here says breeze. You do get two pillows on either side. And of course, in between the two queen size beds, you do have a nice outlet. You have your USB and then two plugs there to charge your phones. This room does come equipped with a little shelf in between. It has your uh, little clock there with your alarm. I love how they're still doing this though. They have the, uh, the uh, resort TV remote control still in the baggies from the uh, pandemic. That's neat though. And look at the uh, faux chest that they have. That's your nightstand in between the uh, two beds. But right behind us, they do have a very large size TV for you to enjoy and watch TV while you're in bed. Even more uh, wall sconces though. Look at these. Like this room is seriously like all lit up. So nice. And even has a little... Uh, control here that you can control your room temperature which is really cool just turn it down a little bit it's actually pretty warm in the room up here is some up lighting like I said lots of lighting inside of this room they have a nice little uh, wall mural it says surfing with the uh, palm trees and you got a wave going on and then right underneath there you do have even more outlets with USBs you got some plugs and here's our uh, dock site in and suites uh, let's see here phone for room 2695. Each room though does have the whole breakdown. This is the uh, rundown, all the good to know that you'll need. So it has everything there safe and secure, uh, checkout time, it's easy being green, house cleaning, guest laundry, all of those things. Then over here, you can even get room delivery at Dockside. Here's the QR code in case you'd like to scan that. It says room charges only, and this is open daily from 4 p.m. to uh, 12 a.m. midnight. That's really neat though, some pizza on the go. Then right underneath, you do have a bunch of uh, like uh, drawers here to put all of your clothes in. You got the Bible over there, but it looks like you do have uh, three drawers. It's always good to have extra space though to put all of your luggage and your clothing inside. And this is the family suite like I was saying. So you do also have this uh, picnic table area. Let's turn the light on and show you guys this area real quick. I do want to mention though, the rooms do come equipped with this little slot where you can put a credit card or your room key to uh, work all of the uh, controls here. But here's that like picnic 
table area that I was saying. You have two nice uh, seating right here, two chairs, even this little ottoman with the cushion. That's really neat, a nice little addition. And then on the other side, I do believe, yep, you got a bench. So this is a huge area for you to enjoy your dinner and all of your meals. Again, you got some nice wall art, a huge shelf, like the floating shelves are really cool. This room does also come equipped with a little ice bucket. They give you the bag and the uh, ice machine is actually right down the uh, row here. And then they give you some plates, some bowls. And right over here you do have a really nice size microwave. Let's see what else we got doing. We got a small uh, kitchen faucet there and sink. Even a little Cuisinart uh, coffee pot with a bunch of different cups. But it does look like they do have even more shelves and uh, storage here. They give you some condiments some uh, coffee there, even some uh, plasticware. And this room also does come equipped with a pretty large size refrigerator. Like this isn't your typical uh, refrigerator you're gonna get in a room. You have your slots here for your cans of soda, even more space here for like two liters of soda, your cans and all sorts of things if you have any leftovers from being out in the parks. That's a nice addition, like that's a great size. And even some shelving right underneath there. I do wanna come over here though, like I was saying, this uh, has uh, two queen beds right over here in this direction as soon as you come inside. And I do wanna point out the really large size mirror. It has four hooks on there so you can hang like all of your hoodies and jackets. And I love the little surfboard partition. That's a nice little added touch. Let's head on into the other bedroom though and give you guys the full tour. See if we can find the uh, light. Okay, so the switch is right over there. And then when you come in here, this is yet another queen size bed. Again, with the wall sconces on either side. Let's turn these guys on. Let's see there. There we go. It looks like you have an extra USB uh, spot on each side with a little floating shelf. They got some nice artwork inside here. Again, with the surfboards, the Florida sunset. But I'm blown away. This room literally has three queen size beds. You got two pillows. And over there is your wrapped uh, TV remote control. This room does also have a very large size TV and the uh, floating shelf just like in the other room. And before you head into the bathroom, there's even a double vanity. Very large size. Like I love this. Like the touches and the finish inside of this room is way cool. Again with the uh, wooden floors, there's all of your different towels. They have your washcloths and all of your amenities. This room has a nice uh, Conair hair dryer right there. Let's see some of the different items they have here. They have some sand and surf gentle facial soap. How cool is that? Definitely perfect with the theming. It has a nice little uh, bar to put it on. And then you have your facial tissue and even more towels on this side. I like the retro. I shouldn't call this retro, the modern lighting <laughs> that's here. It's really cool how it has the lighting inside of the mirror. A nice little added touch. Okay, so let's go inside of the only bathroom that this room has. So it is shared with three queen beds, but this is a great area. They have some different tile, like that is very, very modern. But once you head in a little bit further, you do have a very large size garbage can. Of course, your uh, toilet paper, a good size toilet. And they do also have the tub shower combo. Everything is so nice and clean though, like the caulking, there's no stains or any mold going on. Let's see what we got doing here. Some more amenities. You have your sand and surf uh, renewing shampoo. You have your hydrating conditioner and even some uh, cleansing bath bars in there. And it does have the little retractable cord where you can put like all of your swimsuits and stuff on. I always like when the rooms have that, like that is really nice. And then up here it has a very large size shower head. Yeah, this is gonna be a nice shower. Very, very nice. And here's where you uh, put the other side of the cord. I did also want to mention in the queen size bedroom that's by itself there, you do also have the safe where you can enter four digits to lock it and then reopen it. That's a nice size though, like it can fit quite a bit of good stuff in there. A nice little feature here at this uh, hotel. And then they do have a nice uh, curtain with this area. This would be your uh, closet area. If you pull back the curtain though, you do have some extra pillows and blankets. And then right underneath there, you have a bunch of like different hangers. You have an iron and then an ironing board and even a luggage rack. This room does come equipped really nice with a bunch of really good things. There's even more uh, hangers on this side. I'm really blown away by the price though. Like this is cool, really, really cool. This room can definitely sleep uh, six people comfortably. Like I was saying with our annual pass holder discount, it was just a smidge above $150. 
three queen beds. You had the whole like dining area, and even the large size refrigerator. I don't think you can go wrong though. You're really, we drove over to Universal Studios. It was about a four to five minute drive, so it's not too bad. And you can also take the uh, resort transportation. So you could take the Universal Studios buses for free, of course, over to uh, Universal City Walk which is a nice little feature. You're not gonna be able to do the boats though. I always love doing the boats. When we stay at Cabana Bay, we walk over and take the boats to City Walk. But here you could just drive over, obviously Uber or take the bus. All right, I do wanna show you guys the view that we have right outside of our window. Again, we did not get the pool view. It was just a couple dollars more for uh, each day, but we're only staying one night, so we thought we'd wing it and see what type of view we would get. I'm actually really surprised the view. Let's go check it out. All right, let's pull back the curtains here and give ourselves the uh, grand reveal. Again, you do have two different curtains. One's a sheer, and then one is your heavier blackout curtains. Let's uh, push these puppies to the side and see what we're dealing with. Push that guy there, and our other curtain over. Okay, so initially I thought we just had a view here of the uh, parking garage over for uh, endless summer, but that's not the case. If you look way off in the distance, I do want to get you zoomed in, you could actually see some of the Epic Universe construction. How cool is that though? You can see like the cranes up, a bunch of the uh, buildings, and even part of the roller coaster. That's really neat. So I think in some ways, like this is actually cooler than the pole view to be able to uh, see the construction there of Epic Universe, the uh, roller coaster, which is actually pretty much constructed back there. And a lot of the uh, things happening, that's just really cool. We had such a fun little staycation here at Endless Summer's Dockside. Again, this is their value resort. It doesn't feel like it though. The prices of the food are really amazing. The gift shop down there is incredible. This is very packed though with two swimming pools. The family suite is absolutely enormous. You can comfortably sleep six people. You have that nice little kitchen area and the food downstairs was really good. I got the bone-in chicken, mashed potatoes and gravy and the macaroni and cheese. And the prices again are very, very reasonable. The transportation, you can still take the uh, Universal buses over to the parks, which is really cool. We are a little bit further away, but we even got the view there of uh, Epic Universe. So this is gonna be very close to Epic Universe, uh, Dockside and Surfside. Another cool little feature about this resort. But if you'd like to further support the channel, please consider checking out our Patreon page. I'll let a link to that in the description box of this video. But if you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.